one of the really cool features here in Studio One is the effects chain. So first off, we're up here at effects. Here's our effects chains. Let's expand this folder. And what effects chains are essentially are a combination of a bunch of different plugins all in one, essentially like a preset or something. So in this guitar folder, it comes with a bunch of effects chains, by the way, for mixing, for mastering. Here's some for vocals, right? If I expand this one, for example, there's a compressor and EQ all within this one uh, preset there. You can see that uh, right here. Now up here, I've already created my own, uh, my own folder right there. And if I wanna play some metal guitar and I wanna use the Engel E646VS from Plugin Alliance, I usually use the same chain all of the time, which of course is a tuner. We have a chorus, a screamer, uh, the amp itself and stereo maker. And of course to set all of those up every single time, it's gonna take a little bit, but with our effects chain, I'll just grab it, throw it right in to Studio One here. And there it is. All of my plugins, my tuner, here's my chorus, here's my screamer, here's the amp and stereo maker all set up, ready to go with my preset that I uh, selected before I saved that chain. All right, so that's essentially what our effects chains are. So now we'll go ahead and look how we could, uh, you know, set one up for ourselves. So let's come down here. We could set something up for maybe a vocal chain or something that you use all the time. I could come through here and just load up a bunch of, you know, maybe waves plugins or something and save that. But let's stick with the uh, guitar idea. First thing I want is a tuner. So here's my tuner. I'm just going to throw it in a track right here. There it is. Then maybe I want some sort of a pedal on that. Let's say the green screamer. I'm gonna throw it right up here, right next to it. There that is. And of course, move these around however we want. Then let's say I'm gonna grab, let's grab this other angle right here. Just throw that right in there. And then maybe I want stereo maker on this too, which is right here. Throw that into the chain. And there we go. Now at this point you would go through and set things up however you want. So this I would want bypass by default. This here I'd go through and of course set up all of my different parameters so it's ready to go. Same thing for Stereo Maker, set everything up. So to recall this, whenever, uh, whenever I want, all you have to do is come right here and come down here to Store Effects Chain. Give it a name, so you can call it whatever you want. You can give it a description, whatever you want, metal, you know, four plugins, uh, whatever. Uh, whatever you want, and you can put it into a subfolder or create a new folder here. Just call it new folder, something like that. But I want this in my folder right there. Drums right there and choose OK. And that's all there is to it. So the next time you want to load up your uh, effect chain that you just made, come to the folder where you saved it. It's right here. Of course, drag it right in. And there you go, you have all of your different plugins ready to go, and you can go ahead and start recording. Now, there's also other things you can do, which I'll touch on briefly here. So in this chain, I have a tuner, screamer, I have the Mega Dual, and I have the Engel uh, E765. So I have two amps in this one, and then I have Stereo Maker at the end. So another thing you can do is come over here to your routing icon. You can see the way I have this set up right now. I have the tuner, the screamer, a splitter, and then this signal here runs into our Mega Dual, and of course the Engel amp, and then out to Stereo Maker. Now, of course, I'd need to set it up like this if I wanted to use, you know, two different amps at the same time within one, you know, within one track. It would need to be set up like this because if it wasn't, remove that, it would be the dry guitar sound going through the tuner, then going through the green screamer, and then that sound would be going into the Mega Dual, which is an amp, and then that amped sound would be going into our other amp, which of course is gonna sound horrible. And then that would go into Stereo Maker. So you can use your splitter, for example, just throw that in there. And I'll just grab our Mega Dual, put it to one side, grab this, put it to the other side. And there you go. You essentially have a two amp setup real quick here in Studio One. And you can of course save this and recall it whenever you want. There's a bunch of other things you can do within here, turning things on and off. You can even adjust your parameters from within this uh, list right here. We could also add more plugins in here if we wanted to directly within this list here. So if I wanted a compressor, I could throw that in there, as you can see, put it wherever you want in the chain, add another splitter, whatever you wanna do. And lastly, let's touch on this as well. Let's come here to our macro controls, just this knob right there that says macro controls. 
Now, right now I have one knob assigned to overdrive and let me actually pull up our overdrive here so you can actually see that. Boom, boom, pretty cool, right? So what you can do within here, essentially click your wrench icon and you can see all of the different plugins in this chain here, all these different plugins that we have in this chain, all right? And maybe I want this mega dual, for example, right here. I want some sort of a change on say, channel three presence, I can add that target in this case to knob three, turn your wrench off. And then I have that right here. So I don't have to come into each of these different plugins to adjust things. You can of course come in here and actually name these knobs different things. You can have buttons, there's XY pads, bunch of different things that you can do here with your effects chains. And lastly, you can do something similar with instruments by creating multi instruments that gets a little bit more in depth. Just realize that you can set up multi instruments as well. All right, so go set up some effects chains, save yourself some time and get back to recording music, editing and things that are actually important and not trying to recreate chains that you use over and over again.